Hey everyone, it's Rachel here with Backyard Blossoms. Here with another video, it is Mother's Day weekend and I have had orders coming in like crazy. The flower stand is going, this is its second week of that and it has literally been insane. People have been calling me for tons of things and I don't even have all my flowers up so I've had to really do some creative arranging with everything. I am to the point where I can get about one or two bouquets out of the things that are growing this week and that's about it. So everything else I've had to purchase and add to some greenery that I've harvested on our property here and that is drying off because it's been so rainy. I was outside last night. It was pouring down rain. I had rain dripping down my face. It was pretty pathetic, but I did get some really pretty greenery that's been drying off on the porch and soaking overnight. So we're going to use that in our bouquets. So let's go ahead and get started. Well, I have my list here of what I need to accomplish and it's quite extensive. I've not had a week like this since I've started growing flowers ever. So we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna try not to be stressed and I'm gonna try to just enjoy the whole process because this is what I love to do. And so I'm just a little nervous on getting it all done, but it's fine, who needs sleep? And there's lots of coffee, so it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be good. So um, on the list of what I need to do this week, I have to make 16 posy jars. About half of those are for a baby shower that I'm doing the flowers for, and they wanted yellow and white, so we're gonna put those together in yellow and white for them. They wanted a wildflower look, so we're gonna try to do what we can with our limited supply of resources out in the garden, but it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be good. I'm gonna really enjoy this, it's gonna be great. Um, I also got an order for some funeral flowers, so I have to do one arrangement for, um, like it's a main piece in the funeral, so I need to do that. And then I'm going to do three vase arrangements. They were ordered by different people for Mother's Day since it's Mother's Day weekend. I think it's just kind of crazy with all these orders. But um, we're going to do 10 market bouquets. And then we're going to do three of the Mother's Day specials. Now, with the Mother's Day special, I did something different. I did a $20 market bouquet, and then I also included a $20 voucher for a second bouquet. And that's after all the flowers have set on their blooms, and I have tons of flowers. So we're going to do that at the middle of summer where they can get one bouquet now and enjoy it now. And then in midsummer they can get a second bouquet and enjoy it then. So that was a special that I did. Um, so they get two bouquets and um, they only have to pay for it once. So um, those sold pretty well. So I need to get those going as well. I also have arrangements that I need to do for the flower stand and get those all prepared as well. And I just got a text from the owner and she says that someone's coming to buy about half of what I normally bring in. So she was asking if I could bring in a little extra this week. So we'll see how things play out and how many flowers and arrangements I can get done, see where we go and uh, see what we can end up with. Maybe we can fill this whole table with flowers. Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started on prepping our flowers and getting some flowers in vases. Well, I'm all set up here in this garden of flowers. It's such a cool sight when I get all the stuff out and start working. It just kind of gets the creative juices flowing. So the first project we're gonna work on is the funeral arrangement. We're gonna stick to a wildflower theme of an arrangement. So I've gone outside and I've harvested a bunch of greens. So we'll start with a base of greens and then we'll start tucking in some different flowers and see um, how cool it turns out at the end.
So we finished our first arrangement. It's the wildflower bunch for the funeral. And that is how it turned out. Now we're on to the next thing. So all eight of our baby shower arrangements are done. We're going to finish them off with some twine and then a cute little bow, and then we'll go on to the next project.
All right, everyone, it is the next day. We are headed to our flower booth to set up for this week for Mother's Day. And we are also getting ready to make a few deliveries for Mother's Day. I'll show you some pictures of the combination of flowers that we did and we'll see you in a little bit. Well, it is finally Mother's Day and all of our deliveries have been either picked up or delivered or at the flower stand and everyone is just loving the flowers and I'm so happy to make that just part of their Mother's Day. It's just definitely been a pleasure. I definitely hit record-breaking sales this weekend compared to any other weekend that I've ever done flowers before. I was able to complete almost 45 arrangements over the course of the three days, which was exhausting and fun all at the same time, but definitely something I was super excited about. I hope that you guys enjoyed looking at the flowers and following the process. And I wanna say thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. Bye.